CES 2017 starts right here at CES Unveiled, where over 100 of the smaller companies and startups are here to show off what they have planned for the next 12 months. We're going to take a look around and bring you some of the best. American TV manufacturer Westinghouse was showcasing its new 4K TV range built on Amazon Fire TV and the Alexa voice assistant. The platform has been adapted to better suit a TV environment with access to all of Fire TV's content alongside live TV options, video on demand and over 7,000 apps. Even better, built-in Alexa means excellent voice control via the included remote, whether you're requesting different shows and channels or changing inputs and adjusting volume. We're a bit disappointed to learn these sets won't support HDR, but the rest looks very promising indeed. It'll be available later in the US this year in a choice of four screen sizes, but it's a case of watch this space when it comes to UK availability. There was more from Alexa elsewhere, with the Lenovo taking on Amazon at its own game by launching a smart speaker powered by Amazon's personal assistant. Much like the Amazon Echo, the speaker uses artificial intelligence to answer your questions, play music and sync to your smart home to control devices such as thermostat and lights. Aside from the more colourful finish on the original white version, Lenovo is also offering a special Harman Kardon edition in black, which promises improved sound quality thanks to an additional 2-inch sound cavity, and we assume better drivers too. It'll be available in the US for $130 for the standard version and $180 for the Harman Kardon edition. We'll keep you updated on any plans for the UK. The Fuse Bluetooth headphones are a completely wireless set of in-ears that pack a ceramic housing for waterproofing and improved Bluetooth performance plus touch controls for easy volume and track changing. However, what really makes them stand out is their ability to be housed in a variety of different carry cases, from wristbands and desktop holders that will charge them to necklaces that will keep them safe when you're on the go. A full charge will get you around four hours of playback with a fast charge option, giving you an hour's worth of music from just 15 minutes of charge. The Fuse in-ears are set to launch this spring in the US for $199, but no plans for the UK just yet. We were quite taken by this smart remote by a brand called Seven Hugs, and it appears we weren't the only ones, with a Kickstarter campaign raising over $1 million in a single month. Instead of physical buttons, the smart remote features a touchscreen that will automatically adapt to whatever you're pointing at, and can control more than 25,000 devices, including your TV, Sonos speakers, smart home kit, and will even call you an Uber. It works with a group of wall-mounted sensors that learn where your kit is in the room and combines them with an internal motion sensor and accelerometer to know where in the room it's pointing. It can control Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and infrared devices and is available for pre-order for $300 ahead of its September launch. Finally, Shaw has announced a remote and microphone lightning accessory that will allow owners of any Shaw's SE range of headphones, plus any compatible with the MMCX connector, to switch out the 3.5mm cable for an Apple Lightning version. It comes with an integrated DAC in the remote unit, plus a reinforced Kevlar cable for durability. It will be available for $100. So that's it for CES Unveil, but there is still plenty more to come from CES 2017 over the next few days. So make sure you're checking for all of the news on whatHiFi.com and that you're following all of our social media feeds across Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram for all of the latest from the show.